Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly, and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs that sell. And be sure to stick around till the end of the video because I have five more bonus niches for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can create this design right here. This is uh, one of my listings. So I am on Amazon and this is one of my Amazon Merch On Demand listings. So it's just sort of that cool vintage style design and it's, you know, obviously emotional support beverage. This one is whiskey themed, but you can figure out how you could probably scale that out. Um, and so I'm gonna show you, I made this using Canva. So we're just gonna jump right over to Canva. And we're going to start with a blank page. So we'll go to custom size on the right hand side, click there. All of my t-shirts are 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. And I can hit create a new design. By the way, using that, uh, those pixels will ensure that when you do print it on a standard t-shirt size, it will come out at above 300 DPI. Now I do prefer to optimize my designs for the darker colors as black is the number one selling color of t-shirt, at least on Amazon. So I'm just going to go ahead and change my background color here to black to start with. Now we are doing a cool sort of circular style design. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to make this really dark gray, just because I want you to be able to see the, the difference in the circles. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to hit C on my keyboard. That's going to create a circle. And I'm going to start with a big circle. This is going to be my big background circle. Okay. And the easiest way to make circle designs is to start in the center so that everything is centered, centered in the page, centered top to bottom. And so you can see when you get it centered, when you get it centered, you'll get those cross lines right there. So there's my little cross line. So I know that this is perfectly centered and this is easy to start with. So now what I can do is go over to elements and I'm gonna start with um, some circle outlines. So I can put circle outline and I can do graphics here and I can start with whichever one I want. So let's say I started with this one. And what I'm gonna do is, you know, pull it out so that I get a nice outline. So it would go like this. This one's a little thin. So I actually might use this one for more of the inner circle. So let's, let's go ahead and start with the thicker one. Start with the first one. This one's going to be a little thicker and let me go ahead and change the color here. I'm going to make it sort of that orangey color there. And let's make it that big and let's center this. And so that looks pretty perfect there. Now let's go ahead and do the inner circle. And I'm gonna make it that same orangey color there so that they match. And again, all I have to do is center it so that I know it's perfectly centered in the page. And so that is what I've got there. And that looks, again, pretty cool. So I like the way that that looks. Next thing I wanted to do was I added sort of a starburst in the middle. So what I can do is I can put Let's say I put circle and I put starburst and go ahead and hit there. And so now we can see there's different of those circle starburst ones. So like here's one, for example, this one's great because it's going to let me change the color and it's two tone. So this one's actually perfect. And so, so far I've been lucky with like the very first things I've seen. And so again, I can, if I get that perfectly centered in the page, it should be perfectly centered in all the circles. And so here we, you can see what we've done. I'm gonna make this orange into that color and then I'm gonna make the red and I think I was gonna do more of a tanner shade. So maybe something more like that. So something like that would do. And so you can already see we've got the background of our design there. Um, and by the way, if you want to make sure you don't accidentally move anything at this point, I can go ahead, click somewhere down in the corner, drag over everything, and I can group it together. Now this is one background and I can't accidentally screw it up. And so from here, we're going to keep going. Um, this one's going to say emotional support beverage. Again, you can choose whatever beverage you want, but let's go ahead. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and go with a uh, whiskey and see what comes up. And immediately this cool whiskey body bottle came up here and I liked this because it had that sort of vintage style that I liked. And so kind of that one came out really good, really fast. Again, I can 
center it there. I might even make it a little bit bigger because it does have that little bit of a black shadow to it. So something like that kind of looks cool. And again, you can look around, see if there's anything else that you like. Lots of different whiskey bottles here that I could go with. I could crop out that glass there and do this whiskey bottle. So, and again, it doesn't have to be whiskey. Uh, I was just doing emotional support beverage. It can be any beverage you like. Um, and so let's just say we're going to go with that. That's pretty good. Next, I'm going to add in some text. So I'm going to pull up my first text box here. And the top is going to say emotional. And I'll do this in all caps. And because I do want to be able to see it, I'm going to go ahead and make it that light tan color there. And I'll move it right up here. And let's go ahead and make it bigger so we can actually see it. And so that's going to be one line there. And I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate it because it's going to be easier to do it that way. I'm going to put another line here. The bottom line will say beverage. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit Control D again. So Control D just duplicates it. And for this one, I'm going to get rid of the caps, but I'm going to say support. And support is actually going to go nice and big across the page. And so we're going to have it sort of like that. And so now we're picking fonts. So again, I want something that is simple, easy to read. Um, bold enough that I can read it. Um, and so lots of things that you can search for. You can search bold. You can search um, through some of the display fonts if you want it to be something cool. I miss you can search through the script fonts for the support. I did look for a while and I decided to come up with one called um, it was uh, Trop. Here it is. Tropica. So I did that one for both the top and the bottom. So I liked those. They were bold, but they do just give a little bit of character. So they're bold, but they're not just straight block boring. They're bold, but they have a little bit of flair to them. So that one I liked, that is 422. Ideally, they should be about the same size. So if I brought that one down to close to 422, it's 429. It should be pretty close to the same size there. And then the middle one, I decided to go with a script. Again, lots of different scripts I could go with. I ended up going with one called Vintage Goods. And that is this one right here, Vintage Goods. And that one had a cool look that I was going to bring all the way across the page and even angle it a little bit. So there is my Vintage Goods, nice and big across the page angled a little bit like that. I'm going to put an outline around that one too so it stands out. So just while I'm here, I can go to effects, outline. I'm going to make that a nice black outline. It doesn't have to be too thick, but you know, thick enough. So something there, it's set at 34 here. And so that already looks cool. Now we're going to go ahead and round the emotional and the beverage. So starting here, I'm going to go to effects, hit curve. We're going to go ahead and make sure that that curve opens up perfectly. That looks pretty cool. So it's at an 81 there. And then on this one, again, same thing. I'm going to do the curve. This time it's going to curve in the other direction. I'm going to have to bring it up so that it's where I want it. And then again, continue to curve. Oops, let's see. Something there, so it's 82 on that one. So they're relatively close. And then I can space these out a little bit. So this one for sure needs the letter spacing to be a little bit wider so that it's easy to read. So right there, beverage and then emotional. Again, we'll space that out a little bit. I might have to play with where I put support to make sure that they don't run into each other. So what I can do is I can angle to support even more if I need to. I can lower it down just a little bit if I need to. It's okay if it kind of cuts in just the tiniest bit. And so that's it. That's cool right there. So there is my emotional support beverage. At this point, I can group the whole thing together, including the fonts. I can hit group. Now that it's grouped, I can go ahead and move it up the page so I can put it wherever I want in the page. So now it's nice and high on the page. Now, what you do have to be careful of is so if I center the whole design, the circle is not centered now. And we do want the circle to be 
centered. And so to make sure I get it where I want it, I can just pull up C again. That's just another circle. I can make that circle, you know, approximately the same size as the other one. And I can center this circle here. And so knowing that that center, that circle is centered, you can even use a little transparency there. Now I can take my main design, right? And I can try to make it look pretty centered there. So now once my main design is in line with the centered circle, I know it's good. I can take the circle and move it out of the way. And so there we go. I've got it exactly where I want it. Perfect. So there I've got it. It's great. So now if I was to change the background color back to black, so as if it was on a black t-shirt, you can see how that would look. And so that is pretty cool right there. It was pretty quick and easy to make. And again, this is another one that can be scaled out. Please do keep in mind that I already have this up on Amazon. Um, so again, don't ever copy the designs exactly. Put your own flair to them. This is meant to be design inspiration and it's meant to show you how to create designs. But please always do try to at least make it your own. Um, and so here, I'm just gonna go ahead and put emotional support, beverage, or I could put whiskey in this case. Um, and then I can go to share, download. Now it's gonna be a transparent background. It's going to be a PNG, and then I can just hit download. That will save it to your downloads. And from there, it is ready to upload to whatever print platform you use, whether it's Amazon or Printful, PrintKK, Printify, or anything else, um, and it's ready to go. And of course, you can use it on multiple platforms too. So you don't just have to put it on one thing. You don't just have to put it on one product. So you can take that design and put it all over the place. Um, so if you have questions, again, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing really well with your sales. Um, and because you were so patient and waited until the end of the video, I do have those five bonus niches for you. So as promised, these are your five bonus niches. And because I did a whiskey themed design, I decided to go ahead and go with some whiskey themed niches. So number one is save water, drink whiskey. Number two, whiskey improves with age. I improve with whiskey. Number three, my relationship with uh, whiskey is on the rocks. Number four, whiskey helps. And number five, I make poor decisions. And of course, poor is like you pour a glass of whiskey. So nice pun there. Anyways, I'm sure you guys can come up with tons of cool ways to use these niches unfortunately or fortunately, however you see it, alcohol does always sell very well for shirts, especially for, for guys' shirts. So keep that in mind. Um, and I do hope to see you guys again next, uh, next time. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.